Welcome to By the Numbers. My name is Renee Smith. And I'm Michelle Fleming. And it looks like we got lunch out here, Renee. Well, at least a good fruit salad. A good fruit salad. Well, you know, we've been spending a lot of time comparing. Mm -hmm. And today we're actually going to continue our comparing. But, you know, my mom used to always say, you can't compare apples to oranges. They are not the same thing. So they don't taste alike. They don't look alike. They're not the same color. It's hard to compare them. So we're going to compare apples to apples and oranges to oranges today. That makes sense. Okay, okay let's get rid of the fruit because okay. you'll want to eat. Well, and you know what? We may be getting rid of the food, but we're going to my next best subject here. Which is so, money. I know which you. Which is money. I love to go shopping, by the way, but you know what? I don't think we're going to do enough. I don't think you're going to have enough money for me today to go shopping. Probably with. not. What okay. would you like us to do? Well, since we're talking about comparing, we're going to actually talk about comparing decimals. Real tough skill for kids to do. Yeah. And so we're going to just do some modeling with the money. And money is something you got you have at home, so something easy that you can be doing at home that's going to help your kids so much in school. It's going to make them a better consumer. It's going to help them understand money, which is the true application of decimals. Mm -hmm. Okay? Okay, so I actually wrote some decimals out. Okay. Okay. I wrote out five tenths, and I wrote out fourteen hundredths. Okay. And with and kids, they're, they kind of have the misconception because... 14 is larger than 5, that this is the larger decimal. So let's see what these really mean. Okay, okay. sounds great. Okay, I'm going to give you, uh, I'm going I'm to switch it around on you. Okay. Because I'm going to give you the pennies. Okay. And I'm going to take the dimes okay. because 5 tenths. We're really talking about a part of a dollar. <coughs> okay. And because this is hundredths, I know I'm going to use pennies because there's a hundred pennies in a dollar. And I know that I'm going to use dimes because there are ten dimes mm. in a dollar. So even if we can start getting our kids to be thinking about the connection between money and writing it as decimals, it's going to help them so much when they get, you know, when they have to compare and order decimals when they get into school. Okay. Okay. So. So this is our hole. I'm just going to set it up okay. here. Okay. And okay. I'm going to put out my five tenths. And I'm putting out 14 hundredths, or 14 pennies. Oops, got a couple of them stuck there together. Okay. Okay, but this still looks like an awful lot like comparing an apple to an orange because a dime isn't the same as a penny. It doesn't have the same value as a penny. It doesn't. In fact, we, we, to make it the same as an apple to an apple, I'm going to take, because I have 14 of them, mm -hmm. and I know there's 10 pennies and a dime, I'm going to pick up 10 of them. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and Excellent. exchange it for a dime. I'll give you one of my dimes. Okay. Okay. So now, I still have the equivalent of 14 hundredths, but I also have 1 tenth and 4 hundredths. And I can see now very easily that my five dimes are much more than your one dime and four pennies. Yeah, definitely. Okay, you want to try another one? Okay. Again, because it's a misconception that kids have. That's why we're really stressing it today. We're going to do two more, or one more example. We have... Nine tenths. Nine tenths. That would be mine. And 42 hundredths. Oh my. Okay. Oh my, I don't know you if have, I have 42. You have 42 pennies? I don't. Can I borrow four? Can I have four dimes? You may, but you have one of them already. So okay. here's one, two, three I'm going to do this already with kids. I'd actually have them put the pennies out with and your kids. And make and the it exchange. Make, it make the exchange, but for time's sake, we're not going to do that today. Okay, so we can tell real quickly that... I have nine dimes because mine is nine-tenths of a dollar. And I have four dimes and two pennies, or 42 hundredths of a dollar. Okay, so again, I've got more value mm -hmm. than you do. Now, this is still confusing to me, though, because I've only got one place to the, I only have one place to the right of the decimal point, mm -hmm. and you have, in your number, two places to the right of the decimal point. So, so if we're going to compare apples to apples, again, we'd have to almost trade those out for pennies. I'd have to have 90 pennies, and I don't have that much time. So I can put a zero behind it, and it's still nine dimes or 90 cents mm -hmm. or 90 hundredths of this dollar. So these two, if we were going to act out the next two, uh -huh. seven tenths 
and 70 hundredths. If we Ooh. had, oh, we kind of turned them around. But if I had seven dimes over here. And I had 70 pennies over here. I'm grabbing those. Okay. Now I have seven dimes. I could put out the 70 pennies, or I could just realize that this is also seven 70 dimes. hundredths or seven dimes. Hmm. Cool. So now so, they're equal. So now we were, we're actually comparing. Let me see the oranges here. We're comparing oranges to oranges by getting them having the same place value. So if you went into further, I mean, this would also be the same as 700 thousandths. So you could continue to add zeros. Cool. So, well, thank you for sharing, for joining us in another episode of By the Numbers. And you can find out more about By the Numbers at My Kids Turn.